Hey, this is David. Today we're going to test the bake element on an electric range with an oven that won't heat. The bake element heats the oven through resistance by converting electrical energy into heat. Before we get started, hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to join our do-it-yourself repair community and get notified each time we post a new video guide. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. First, we need to get our tools together. Today, we're going to need a multimeter and a quarter-inch nut driver. Also, please remember that safety comes first. Always disconnect your range from power by unplugging it or switching the breaker off before you start working on it. Now, let's get started. The bake element can be tested in two different ways, with voltage and without. We're going to test both ways, so feel free to skip ahead if you feel more comfortable testing without live voltage. Go ahead and remove the quarter inch screws that hold the terminal block cover and set it aside. Then look at the wiring at the terminal block, the power cord, and the bake element. If the wiring looks good and you don't see any damage to it, we can do a voltage test. Just a heads up, the range needs to be plugged in and powered up while you're testing voltage. Please be very careful to protect yourself from electric shock, which has the potential to cause serious injuries. Don't ever test live voltage if you're uncomfortable using a multimeter. Now you can set your multimeter to the AC voltage setting, then plug the oven in or flip the breaker back on. At the oven control, you need to turn the oven on to bake. Then use your multimeter probes to test across the two terminals at the element. Do not remove the wires when you do this. On the meter screen, you should see 240 volts AC. If you're getting the right amount of voltage and the element doesn't heat, then the element is defective and needs to be replaced. You can see that this particular range has a bad element. We can also test the bake element without having to deal with live voltage. Make sure your range is unplugged from the power outlet. Now find the bake element and remove one of the wires from it. Set your multimeter to measure resistance in ohms, which has a symbol that looks like an upside down horseshoe. You need to use your meter probes to check from one terminal to the other. And just so you know, the reason we remove one of the terminals is to make sure we're isolating the element and the reading we get is only from the bake element. If the bake element is good, you should see around 20 to 25 ohms on the meter screen. If the reading is out of that range, you'll need to replace the element. And if you're wondering if you can test any bake or broil element for continuity, an element can appear as good on a continuity test, but still not work. So a resistance reading is a much more accurate way to test. After you're done testing, don't forget to plug your range back in or turn that breaker back on. If your bake element is good, check out our other troubleshooting guides that can help you pinpoint the reason why your oven isn't heating. If your bake element is bad, just head over to AppliancePartsPros.com to order a replacement so you could repair your range yourself. And don't forget to share your experience with us in the comments. If this video was helpful, show some love by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to helping you in our next video.